just be patient, Miriam. Be patient, patient. Um, okay, patience. Hello there. If you're new here, I'm Miriam, and this is my game is perspective. Today, we are going to talk about the fall 2020 video games I'm most excited for. So, without further ado, just let's get on with this video. The first video game I'm really excited for is Cyberpunk 2077. Though, I really hope they aren't going to delay it anymore. But, if they have to, I guess we'll have to wait a little bit more. Okay, so Cyberpunk 2077 is a role-playing video game, which is being developed by CD Projekt Red. It's supposed to release for the PlayStation 4, Windows and Xbox One in November of 2020. This game is adapted from the Cyberpunk tabletop RPG franchise and it takes place in a dystopian place called Nice City, which is going to be an open world with seven different regions. Players, when they start playing, are going to be able to choose between a male or a female character. They are also going to be able to modify the amount of hair they, the character is going to have. And when I'm saying hair, I mean hair everywhere. I don't know why you would want to modify your character's pubic hair, but... Okay. And you'll also be able to choose between three different social classes. Nomad, Corporate or Street Kid. And so this is a first person game where you're going to be able to modify the voice, the face, the hairstyle, the body type, the modifications, the background and the clothing of your character. So customization in this game is supposed to be amazing. I think everyone is really hyped for this game, so I really hope it comes out in November. The next game I'm really excited for, though I don't know if I'm as excited for this one as I am for Cyberpunk, but it's Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I loved Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I completely fell in love with Cassandra, with the world. Uh, it was Sometimes it kind of was a little too big for me with a lot of things to do and too many quests that were really similar to each other, but I'm really looking forward to Assassin's Creed Valhalla and to be able to play as Eivor, if it's pronounced that way, and to be able to explore England and just get to experience a little bit of the Nordic culture and all that. I think that's going to be nice. I think that's going to be nice. However, I think I will probably buy Cyberpunk first and then later on buy this one. Because I'm more excited for Cyberpunk. I'm sorry, I could just... Cyberpunk is Cyberpunk. And Kenya Reeves is there, so yeah. game I'm really excited for is Kenna Bridge of Spirits. I think this is the third time I've talked about Kenna Bridge of Spirits, but seriously, this game looks gorgeous. It looks so pretty, so beautiful. It's going to be an action-adventure game and it's supposed to release on late 2020. We don't really know when yet, but it's going to come to Windows, to PlayStation 4 and to PlayStation 5. And for those of you who are going to buy this game for the PlayStation 4, don't worry, it's going to have a free upgrade to the PlayStation 5. So, at least there is that. The next 
game I'm really excited for is Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. It's about time indeed. It's about time indeed. Wow. I remember playing Crash Bandicoot when I was a kid in the PlayStation 2 and all that. I remember really enjoying these games. I don't remember much about these games, to be honest. I really don't remember much about them. I do remember that I enjoyed them, but that's the main reason why I'm really looking forward to picking this one up and playing it on the PS4 because I want to get that nostalgia kind of feeling back and to enjoy this platform game which is being developed by Toys for Bob. This one is the eighth main installment in the Crash Bandicoot series and the fourth chronological speaking, acting as a follow-up to the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Well, and who isn't really excited for Miles Morales? Make I think it was yesterday when I saw a picture of Miles Morales for the PS5 and that looked amazing. The puddles, the puddles looked amazing. The reflections, it was incredible. It was really good and it was just a picture. So this game, it's going to be incredible, baby. It's going to be incredible. And I really cannot wait to experience Spider-Man again with a different story, with a different set of villains and basically see New York again in a different light with higher quality graphics and stunning visuals and just be able to swing around again, follow the pigeons again. Are they going to even include the pigeons again? I hope they do because that it would be a shame if pigeons are not added in this game, to be honest. <laughs> Watch Dogs Legion is a game I think we've seen too much of. And some of the hype has kind of dispersed a little bit. But I'm still willing to try this game because the concept looks really interesting. The concept of just being able to play any character is just mind-blowing. It's going to be based in a representation of London with an open world and it's going to be a third-person perspective. As I said, you're going to be able to play as multiple characters that you're going to be able to recruit and if they die, well, you lost them forever. This video game is coming to Windows, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox and Xbox Series X, as well as Stadia. The last game I want to talk about is Sakuna of Rise and Ruin. And Sakuna is just a really cute side-scrolling platform action game where you're going to be able to play as Sakuna, who supposedly is a harvest goddess. This game is also going to include a lot of 3D simulation kind of gameplay where you're going to be able to grow plants or you're going to be able to harvest them. You're going to be able to <laughs> cultivate the perfect crop and I mean, this is obvious because Sakuna is, as I said before, the harvest goddess, right? And it's also going to include a lot of Japanese mythology, which is always a plus for me. And that's basically it. Those are the games I'm most excited for. The ones that are coming on fall of 2020. At least we think they are coming on fall of 2020, but we don't really know when some of them are coming. But are you guys excited for any specific video game that's coming soon? If you are, or if you aren't really excited about any of the games that are coming, or if you're waiting for a certain company to say something, then 
Leave a comment down below telling me all about it. And if you have liked this video, don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos in the future. I'll see you in the next video.